Welcome to La Balloni. We're going to have a look at the three properties. We're kind of also going to enjoy a little bit of this other part of Belgium. Well, hello there. And we're off again to look at another house. You might remember from our video a few weeks ago where we went to look at a house and uh, that one didn't go through. It had a little bit too much work to do, plus also somebody else made an offer. So, <laughs> but now we're looking at some other houses and these are on the completely opposite side of the country. We have hills. Sylvia, we have hills. We have trees, we have lots of trees. <laughs> Very exciting. We're going to have a look at the three properties uh, this weekend. But in the meantime, we're kind of also going to enjoy a little bit of this other part of Belgium. Being a tourist in your own country. It's beautiful out here. Totally different than uh, where we're based, which is extremely flat. Nice autumn vibe going. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Look at that view, Niels. The views, the views are amazing. The house is interesting. It has some lovely rooms. Some of it is completely finished, some of it isn't. It's just, yeah, certain things needs doing, certain things don't. We need to work it out. But the views are amazing. Yeah. Very close to the church. It is really pretty around here. It's gorgeous. It's a totally different side to Belgium. And it's incredibly tempting to move away from where we live now. We probably, <laughs> but I don't think that house was for us. It was a beautiful house, but even after the work, space would be an issue. One down, two more to go. Yeah. But before we go visit the two other houses, we get to play tourist. <laughs> Go on. What are you looking uh, for, that? Big spart. <coughs> <laughs> There's always big spart somewhere. <laughs> yes. Careful you don't fall in the river there. Well, luckily, there's a tree to make sure that I don't. I think we can go up here. Well, we can definitely try. <laughs> you made it! Did you film that? <laughs> oh, that was that. embarrassing. <laughs> Could have been worse. You didn't slip. I didn't slip, but it wasn't elegant either. So, water over there and uh, water over there. It's called a lesser. No water here, called a bridge. That's the next house we're going to look at and uh, let's hope that uh, it needs a little bit less work. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'd what? say that's at least a four bedroom. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Can say that again. You do get a little noise from the river though. So. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this advantage there. How's that view? That is gorgeous. Oh wow, you can see the citadel. You are in Belgium when you get chocolates with your coffee maker. Mm -hmm. We are staying in an old convent, which is kind of 
fitting in the theme because the house we visited today used to be the house that belonged to the local priest. The house that we visited the last time also belonged to the local priest. And one of the houses we're visiting tomorrow, guess what? Belong to the local priest. Yeah, there's a theme. There's a theme. <laughs> there's a riddle. There's a robot lawn mower on the roof of the citadel mowing the lawn. <laughs> it's awesome. What are we visiting now, Niels? This is in Dutch. I don't know the, these words. The citadel. We, yeah, the citadel. And there's a U-form shaped barbacan. Wow. Barbicane. <laughs> Let's call it barbicane. I like it. Barbicane. Okay. And on average, the walls are two meters thick. Woohoo! Okay. So, pretty sturdy building. Big bada boom. So there's been a castle or fort here since the 1500s or something. No. What? There's been something here since oh. 1040. Yeah, since like a long, long time ago. 1040. And Charles the Naughty. 1040. Charles the Naughty? Carol the Stater. Charles the Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> He basically flattened the whole thing and then they rebuilt. That was 1466. Charles the Naughty. <laughs> for the big-headed people. That's where all the bones go. Wait, what? That's the Ozuarium. Bones of what? Of uh, who? Of the deceased Which soldiers. Which de deceased soldiers or prisoners? Yeah, soldiers. Soldiers from the old First World War. That was a good tour. I liked it. All the saxophones going from the Sopranino all the way to the country base. There are some pillars here. Why are there saxophones here, Niels? Oh, because this is actually where Adolf Sax was born. And what did Adolf Sax do? He invented the saxophone. Interestingly enough, what were saxophones supposed to do? Replace violins in marching bands. instrument. Huge variety of uh, sizes, gorgeous sounds and interestingly enough after he invented it he didn't actually patent it for the longest of times. Main reason he thought nobody could guess what he did and he was right and it was basically the bore of the instrument was conical which for that time was unseen. So there you go. And that's why all over the mount you see saxophones. 
Oh, and we used to have other socks on our banknotes before we had viewers. So, yay! There is a tiny little museum here where you can just walk in, it's free. So, if you're in Dino, you might as well come visit the house of the saxophone. And there's that citadel that we visited. We're gonna find a place to eat now. Because we hungry. The menu looks awesome. And they have a Halloween burger. Niels is trying some local beer. Local beer? Okay. I'm honestly in Belgium. The moment you order the beer, get something like cheeses or something. Jesus. What, no elegant way of eating it. It doesn't fit in my mouth. <laughs> Mine's really yummy too. It's like spicy with mango and some other stuff. But no cheese. It's been a lovely day and tomorrow we've got a few more houses to have a look at. So we're having an early night. Good night from Dino.